everybody. Uh, we had a false start, but that's okay. We're going to do multiple represent representations of the same point. So I started with point P, which is at 445. Now, I'm going to use a few different colors here. And what we want to do is we want to find many different representations. The first thing that I would do is I would draw a line that goes through the point. And there's going to be a few different reasons for doing this. So I'm going to take this guy. Now we have our line. This angle right here is 45 degrees. Now what I want to find is what this angle is. It's going to be negative, so I know it's going to be negative, but together they should equal 360 degrees. So I could take 360 degrees minus 45. There's a 5, there's a 1, there's a 3, and I know it's going to be negative 315 degrees, so I can say, I'll call P1, would be at 4 comma negative 315 degrees if we'd started, instead of traveling in a positive direction for our angle, we traveled in a negative direction for our angle. Now, so we get one representation. Now the reason why I drew this over here is because in the previous video, we were able to see, alright, well, if I go from the pole and I go in an opposite direction, I could get a negative R. So for P2 and for P3, I want negative 4 comma something. So what I need to find, and let's get a different color here so we can kind of see the difference, is I want to get this angle right here. That would be my positive. That's 180, 195, 210. That's 225 degrees. So I could say it's going to be 225 degrees. So if I go negative 2, or if I go 225 degrees, but then go negative 4, I'm going to get right back to P. But now, if I want this angle right here, that's negative 90, 105, negative 120, that's going to be negative 135, negative 135 degrees. Now, in, once we found 225, we could have taken 360 minus 225 degrees. and got our 135 degrees. So that's 135 degrees in a negative direction. This is positive 225 degrees, but we use the negative R's in that case. So we take advantage of the angles going in a positive and a negative direction, which is right here. There's your theta, there's your negative theta. Then we take a negative R with a theta, and a negative r with a negative theta. And we just use thetas as, I guess that's theta, we could call that theta 1, theta 2, theta 3. And we'll be able to find four different representations of the points. Hopefully that makes sense. If not, come and see me.